if you are new, please subscribe as it will be greatly appreciated on the road to 100 subscribers. We are almost there. What is going on guys, it's E17 and I'm back with another video and in this video I will be doing gameplay with the collector level Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis. So you obtain this card by getting to the GOAT collector level, obviously I've sold a few cards but you need to collect 2,900 cards and have them all in your collection. It's not like 2,900 cards over the whole year and you end up with like 20 cards and you can get 80. You need to have them all in the collection. So it makes it quite hard. But we will be going over this AD in a gameplay today. He has incredible stats. Almost all 99s, 97 free, 90 wall handle, 95 passing stats, incredible defense, 90 perimeter D, incredible speed and great lateral quickness. Now he almost has every badge in the game, 57 Hall of Fames, 6 golds. I'm just going to check this Dwayne Wade, he is 59 and 2, so 61 badges, AD is 63, he basically has everyone, so the notable badges are like catch and shoot, corner specialist, pick and popper, put back boss, volume shooter, lob city finisher, pick pocket, pick dodger, clamps, defensive leader, interceptor, intimidator, rebound chaser, pogo stick, Tireless Defender, Worm, Back Down Punisher, Contact Finisher, Pick and Roller, Fancy Footwork, Range Extender, Quick First Step, Dead Eye, Flexible Release, Green Machine, Pump Fake Maestro, I Pump Fake quite a bit so that helps, and he has Gold Quick Draw, Gold Dimer, Gold Floor General, this release, I'm a bit surprised it has gold quick draw, although it's not that slow. Now, let's check out the release, and then let's get into a few triple threat games. So, as you can see, I do have Hido Turklu. That is for tomorrow's No Money Spent Squad. But this AD's release is really nice. It's not slow, but not the fastest release. So, it definitely feels like a gold quick draw release. Although, I always thought that he had Hall of Fame. An insane release. And his lean is not terrible, you know. I haven't really used it. Um, his quick stop's not bad, although that's a moving shot. Um, it's not the fastest release, so I'm not sure how good he will be at quick stops. Although against other centers, he will probably be quite good at them. But let's get into a few games. So... Wow, my first opponent has the Galaxy Opal Michael Jordan, the GOAT collection one, Lonzo Ball and Pau Gasol. Now, this could be a tough, tough game. Anthony Davis is open from three. That's a green light there. Michael Jordan against AD. AD gets a good contest. AD's open. That's a green light once again. Here's AD attacking the hoop in the post against Pau Gasol. He's getting the post hook to go. AD just swatted Lonzo completely. I don't know what that defense was by Kobe. 
AD is defended by that Michael Jordan. AD gets a post hook to go over MJ. MJ is defending him well, but AD gets a dunk. AD luckily gets it back. He throws it up to Kobe, and Kobe gets a dunk. Kobe giving it off to AD, and that's a green light once again. Great defense by AD. What a contest. He throws it up to Chris Bosch. Now let's get into the next game. So my next opponent has Larry Sanders, Lamar Odom, and Dean Wade. Can AD get open on the pick and pop? What is that release timing by me? But it still goes down. We got lucky there. So AD is on the perimeter here. Pump fake. Kobe, that's a green off of the, off of the assist by AD. AD gets a steal. He's actually under the hoop here. Can he get a dunk? He gets a post fade instead, and that is going down. AD's open from three. That's a green light. So AD is out on three point line. He's open. Green light once again. We get the steal there. AD throwing it up to Chris Bosch. Kobe throwing it up to Chris Bosch there. He's getting the crossover blown by to the hoop for the dunk. So we lost that game. No one could really stop that Dean Wade. But now let's get into the card review. So the card review for this AD is a 10 out of 10. He can do everything. He can attack the hoop, he can shoot, great release. You can run the offense through him. As I said, he's just great at everything. He is definitely, definitely worth getting if you are close. If you do not have time to grind the game and get tons of MT, then don't worry, just pick yourself up uh, Eddie Curry or Chris Bosch. And if you get loads of tokens, maybe someone like a D Rob or try get free triple threat players. But that is the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as well as follow me on social media. Bye.